All right, so we're looking at some samurai type shapes and I'm seeing within samurai armor, um, there's a great variety, but um, let's just block in some early shapes of samurai armor. So it looks like there's sort of like this round dome that goes into this type of a shape. And then not entirely sure what's happening on the torso yet. Um, but let's just make a choice of uh, a blob of some sort and then kind of sharp shoulder shapes of some sort. And then the legs. Now, from what it looks like to me, it feels like there's there's another type of a umbrella type shape, but then the legs get really thin. So maybe the legs are like little triangular shapes. And the arms are also very thin. So if I were to break this down some more, perhaps like the overall shape I would give this guy is, I'm not sure, some sort of like a curved kind of square shape up here. These shapes down here, although I have it kind of blocked in as a round shape, that doesn't feel dangerous. So I kind of want it sharper. So I want to emphasize that. And then here's some feet. This um, decorative stuff up here could just be a secondary read. And of course, there's always the, uh, the swords. Now, the swords are tricky. In some photographs, you barely can see the sword because it's like hidden in the silhouette. And that's something you guys should really consider is the silhouette of a character. So like, for example, if the sword was hidden inside here, you can't see it, right? Um, it has to kind of stick out a little bit like, like that in order for me to actually see that sword. Okay. And so then I can block this in. Um, when, when I do this, after I draw it out in pen, I try to get something like a water brush of some sort. Um, and in this instance, my water brush, let's see if I can find it. Or you could get a marker, I guess. But I just had a water brush right here. Hmm. So what you can do is, um, they sell these brushes at, you know, stationery stores and art stores. Some of them have uh, nothing inside it. You just fill it up with water and I fill it up with water and like two drops of ink, you know, and so it gives me sort of this gray, grayish color. So then, where do you get that? Like art stores, like you could probably find it at uh, Michael's, um, that that uh, store I talked about, Mido, which is uh, there's one in the Santa Anita Mall. There's one that's also by Gallery Nucleus down in Alhambra. Um, it's next to the Habit uh, down there, um, but in any case, it's this is kind of what you can use to sort of block in the shape of the silhouette in this character. So now you can kind of read that silhouette. Uh, 
Um, you guys are going to find as you do this stuff, I want you guys to try it out both ways, but some of you guys might be more shape people and some of you guys might be more uh, line, line work uh, oriented, you know. But in order to sort of find out what you prefer doing, try both, you know. Uh, approach, so like right there, I approached a character by drawing the line work first, and then I kind of blocked in the shape of that character afterwards, right? But like, let's say for example, I could do uh, a, another one, and this one I'll do, I'll do the uh, the shape language first, and then maybe the the line work afterwards. So, so let's just say like maybe this samurai has more of a more of a uh, hat like this, and oh, it's kind of hard to see, huh? Hmm. I need to find something that's just like a broad Copic marker. Uh, I think, I think one of the Here, I got a, I got a Copic marker. So these things are kind of pricey, but uh, they're pretty good. Here. And so, uh, like, like we were talking about, Jesse. See how when I block that in, it just starts blending with itself, uh -huh. and it just becomes like one shape as opposed to like a bunch of streaks. So that's one of the reasons why, like, I pay a little extra for for it. Um, These don't dry, do they? They do dry. Yeah, because it's alcohol based, it um, dries almost immediately. Oh, yeah. yeah, they do, they yeah. do. But then you can always refill it too. That's oh. one of the uh, key things. So like, let's say, let's say if this guy was, see like at first there's streaks, but then you can actually like blend it in some more and then get it. And then you could have the swords. Again, um, the silhouette of something is very important, especially when you're doing shape studies like this. So, so I would. Yeah. So something like that. So some people might find that starting off with the shape is easier, and some people might find starting off with line work is easier. But then, you know, after this, then I can maybe come in and punch up some detail. And what you're going to find, the people that like shape more, you'll, you'll be probably more inclined to become painters. And the people that like line work more, you'll probably end up becoming more drawers. So like a comic book artist is probably more of a drawer, whereas a uh, somebody that likes to block in with shapes maybe is uh, somebody that likes to do a character painting instead. Right? So this is just a rough block out of shapes. And here we see a triangle, right? Squares, another triangle right here, and the feet are like little triangles as well, right? And these are like just two sticks that come out, right? Kind of like that. Okay. Let me see. 
me stop this here.